How's it going, everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing, and today we are talking about the dreaded iOS 14 update. Uh, there has been a lot of changes on how to set up the Facebook pixel due to this update, and I've had a lot of people asking me um, questions about this process, so I thought I would make a video on it. Um, so we're going to be going by step, going through step by step on how to set up the Facebook pixel now with the new iOS 14 update. There are a few new things that you have to do, including verifying your do domain. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, all the steps needed. So we'll jump right in. Okay, so here we are inside of uh, Facebook Business Manager. So to get here, just go business.facebook.com. You should see the Facebook Business Manager that you are going into. And where I'm at right now is I clicked on this little waffle and I went to business settings either over here or business settings down here. And then we are under brand safety under domain. So this is the first step that you need to do to get your Facebook pixel set up. Um, I'm assuming that you already have the code set on your website. Um, if you don't, I have a video down here on how to add the Facebook pixel using Google Tag Manager, but um, I'm assuming that you already have the Facebook pixel on your website for this um, video and that you are just wanting to get it set up for the new iOS 14 update. So we're going to go over to the domains and as you can see, I have a few blurred out over here, but um, what you need to do here first is add a new domain. And for this, this is the domain that we are going to be doing. It's house to home DIY.com. We're going to hit add domain. I'm going to wait for a second. And uh, as you notice, you'll, you'll get this little notification right here saying house to home DIY.com. And we're going to have some uh, instructions on how to verify our domain inside of uh, Facebook. So or inside of your host provider. So what you need to do is go over to your host provider. For me, myself, I use Bluehost. Um, so I'm going to go over to Bluehost. This will work for GoDaddy or for any of the popular uh, domain providers. You just need to follow these instructions right here, but I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to do it inside of Bluehost. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll over and copy this guy. You need to log into your Bluehost or your host provider account. Find the domain that you're trying to verify and then come over here to um, the way here, uh, manage, and then just go to the DNS records. And once this loads up, we are going to scroll all the way down to the TXT file, add record. And then we're just simply going to do at, and then the text value is the, uh, this little thing that it's asking us to copy right here, this little text value. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to hit save. Wait for that for just a second. So that is now saved. So we should be good. Um, this says to wait until you can figure your DNS and it may, this may take up to 72 hours. In my experience, this happens almost instantly. So let's give it a try and see if it works. So we're gonna hit verify. Um, didn't work right there. So that's okay. We're just gonna give it a second. I'm gonna refresh this. Give it just a second. We're gonna hit verify, try it again. I'm going to refresh Facebook here. <clears throat> so like I said, if, if it's not verified within the 72 hour, don't worry. But in my experience, it's usually like in the first couple of minutes that we get this to work. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to pause the video and I'll tell you exactly how long it took me for this situation. Okay, so I waited about four minutes uh, right there for this to get verified. So um, if you don't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't say verified right away, just give it a little bit of time and try it again. And this is what you'll see right here. So house to home DIY.com is now verified. So we've gone through the first step of making sure that our domain is verified. Now we need to go over to the actual pixel and uh, set up the events from there. So I'm going to show you how to do. So next we're going to come over here to business tools and then we're going to scroll down to events manager. And as you can see here, we have quite a bit of pick, or we have a few different pixels. If uh, you only have one website, you should only have the one, um, but we have this demo pixel right here. Okay, so inside of here, you'll notice that it's showing the events. As you can see in this pixel, I only have the page view event firing currently. If you already have your custom events set up, then you can skip this next part that I'm about to do. But this, for those who that don't have their either leads tracking or their sales tracking, this is the step that you have to take first before moving on to uh, aggregating your event measurement. So. First, come over here to settings real quick, scroll down, and then um, this is an easy way to set up your event. So we're going to open up this event setup tool. We're going to enter our website. And we are going to define the events that are important for our site. So we're going to scroll down here. Um, this is just kind of a demo, uh, blog that I have. 
And down at the bottom here, we have a contact us button. So get in touch right here. Um, this tool makes it really easy. If you haven't used this tool before, it's a really slick kind of thing. It allows you to track buttons without having to add code or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit track new button right here. And we're going to click this get in touch button. We're going to call this a lead. And we are going to not assign a value and the currency USD and confirm. And the reason why I'm tracking on the button is because when somebody clicks on this and actually fills out the form, it does not take them to a unique URL. If your, if your form takes someone to a unique URL, then I would uh, encourage you to, to track the URL. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but um, just know that's why I'm tracking the button in this situation. So we're going to hit confirm here and finish setup. So now we are tracking on this lead button right here. Finish setup. Finish that. Skip this. Okay, now when we go over to overviews here, you can see that the, that event still hasn't fired. So I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna go through and fill out a test form real quick. Okay, so I just went through and submitted a test lead form. Um, it's not showing in here yet, but we do have the event actually showing. The reason why I know that the event is working though is because when I come over here to the, uh, the Facebook pixel, you can see that a lead was fired after I filled out the form. So we're gonna come back here. And once all of your events are set up, then you can now move on to this um, aggregated events measurements. Now this is the new thing, as you can see right here, a little new tab. This is what you need to do in order to adjust your pixel for um, the iOS 14 update. Now remember, you need, to, you need to verify your domain first before you can go onto this step. And I'll show you why. So we're gonna hit configure web events. And it's going to have the list of all the domains. And as you can see here, before you can, um, I have all these different other domains that uh, that need to be verified. So that your domain needs to be verified before you can go on to this next step. So we're going to hit click here, I'm going to hit edit event. And it's going to say it may take up 48 hours for these um, to see these in the results. That's totally fine. You just want to set up as soon as you can. And we're going to come over here. I'm going to move myself. Okay, so from here, what we need to do is we need to um, choose the pixel or you need to hit this little green button, add event right here. Um, you can add up to eight events. You can see this lots two of eight filled. For this example, of course, we only created the one event, but after this, I'll show you what this looks like inside of an e-commerce account where you have add to, add to cart or uh, purchase and prioritizing those. But all we need to do is come over here, click on our pixel that we have and then choose the event, which we only have the one in this case. So it makes it easy. Um, and then we're gonna hit lead. And then we submit that right there. And yes, I understand. This is just saying it can take up to 72 hours for these um, to take effect. I'm gonna hit apply. And next, I'm gonna jump into an e-commerce setup so you can see what that looks like as well. And here we are inside of an e-commerce account I, uh, setup for this these iOS events. As you can see here, the purchase is obviously the highest priority. And then the lowest priority is view content. And in between there, we have add payment info, initiate checkout, and add to cart. And how you add those events, more of them is you just click this little green button right here add event, as you can see, one pops up right there, um, but we're just going to get rid of that. So that is how you set up your uh, Pixel now with the iOS event tracking. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and we will see you in the next video.